guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be making some pizza in the air fryer. I'm actually using the Ninja Foodie Grill Smart XL 6-in-1. I think that's the way you say it. And it has the air crisp option, so it's really cool because I'm able to use it as an air crisper. We're gonna go ahead and make little pizzas for the kids. So I had, I'm, I have my dough <laughs> rising. I'll show you how I made my dough and then we'll throw in the, have them roll it out and we'll throw it in the air fryer. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more recipes. Some will be with the Ninja Foodie Grill and air fryer recipes. And sometimes there'll just be some normal recipes too. So don't forget to subscribe. Also, I will be putting the recipes eventually on my blog at gentellycooks.com. So right now I'm trying to do a recipe every single day as part of Vlogmas. And so it may take me some time to catch up to um, publishing all the recipes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start with one cup of warm water and add one teaspoon of yeast. You're going to use two and two thirds cups of white all-purpose flour. I did not measure it exactly because I've made this so many times, <laughs> but if it's your first time, you're definitely gonna to wanna to measure out the two thirds at the end. Also, I added a half a teaspoon of salt and I start the mixer and while it's going, I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. While it's running, I'm going to add the one cup of warm water that has the yeast in it, and I'm going to let that mix for only one to two minutes, just enough so that it starts to come into a ball. I'm not kneading this very long because I don't want um, it to be a very chewy dough. It's my main pizza dough that I make for my family all the time, and I just kind of adjusted the measurement so that we could make two small pizzas in the air fryer. So this is what the dough looks like. It's not gonna be like a perfect, beautiful, silky dough because we're not kneading it very long. Next, add about a tablespoon of avocado oil or canola oil to a bowl. You're gonna go ahead and just roll the dough around in it and then cover it in plastic wrap. This dough is really flexible as far as rise time. If it's in a warm place, it's ready in an hour, um, but you can also let it sit on the counter for a few hours or even in the fridge overnight. While you're waiting for the dough to rise, you should watch your cute dancing baby. We're gonna roll the dough out in parchment paper, but to get the size of um, the pan, I just put the parchment paper inside the pan and kind of just made an imprint of the corners or like the sides in the corners so that I knew um, like how big of pizza dough we should roll out. So I went ahead and cut them to just right past the area we're rolling so that the kids would know how big to make their pizza dough. Here is our dough. Yay! It's risen nicely. Yeah, can you go grab me the um, rolling pin? Use your night eyes. You know what, it's okay, I'm sorry, it's just got washed. Then we can do grapes, okay? We're gonna split this dough in half. Great. Half for Great. Lydia. <laughs> and half for you. We're just making a little ball. Okay, you guys, we're gonna use the rolling pin to roll it out. We can also use your hands. Okay. <laughs> You want your dough to be about the size of the parchment paper. All right. What do you think, Ethan? Um, good. Yeah. Okay. You can also use like your hand a little bit to like stretch out some of it. Can I have the long head? Mm -hmm. All right. This is the first dough. All right. Ethan, I am done. You are ready for your sauce. It's sticky. Can we grab? I'm gonna have a little pizza. Sauce. Careful, because this part is sharp. I'm gonna have a little pizza today. And where is my awakening? Yeah. The stove. <sighs> We're also using some oregano. Oh, oregano. <laughs> okay. You're going to do your oregano next. 
My own oregano? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna just add the sauce all the way to almost the edge, just like that. You got a little bit on the edge. Did I? Okay, let's put that back in there for now. All right, ready? We're gonna sprinkle it all over the top. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Where's the spoon supposed to go? Up here. Okay. I need my oregano. No, this is not an earthquake. This is me breaking up the frozen cheese. They're adding mozzarella cheese on top, but if you add a little fresh parmesan as well, it adds a lot of extra delicious flavor. Oh, oh. Getting cheese everywhere, dude. All right, your pizza is ready. Pizza one, pizza two. I'm using a little pan to help me slide the pizza into the Ninja Foodie Grill. Okay, so it's been in for just over three minutes and look, it's, it's done. I'm gonna check the bottom of the crust. The bottom didn't cook as much as I would have liked. All right, so I just checked the first pizza and as you can see the top looked amazing the bottom though it was cooked was like not cooked well enough so it's gonna be fine for the kids it's cooked it's gonna be okay but I think I'm gonna make a version two um, and I'll show you where I'm gonna put the pizza dough in and then flip it and then add the toppings so I'll cook one side of the pizza dough flip it over add the toppings and cook the second side. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, this is the pizza. Like I said, bottom, not quite cooked to my liking. I definitely like it a little bit more cooked, but moment of truth. It's ready. You can see that it's cooked, but just not cooked well enough for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's try version two. Ethan was wanted some olives for his pizza, so I gave some to Owen, and he's uh he's putting it in his oatmeal. How's that <laughs> olive? How's that olive oatmeal, Owie? <laughs> mm, yeah, it's good. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Time for version two. You already know how to make the dough, so I'm not gonna go through that again, but quickly mixing it together and I'm gonna let it rise. The dough's ready, and so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out and we'll get started on the second version of the pizza. I realized that I forgot to measure and cut the parchment paper, so I had to do it now. So it was in for about four minutes and it's looking really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and add the sauce, cheese, and toppings. I ran out of mozzarella cheese, so I guess I'm gonna have to add that to my grocery list. So now it's been a couple hours. I made another batch. Definitely like flipping the dough before adding the sauce, cheese, and toppings. On this one, I added some mushroom and olives. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. 
Wow. It's good. You know, I think it comes out fluffier than when I make it in the oven, which is very interesting. But that's what it looks like. It tastes delicious. Definitely, definitely gonna use this for like a quick afternoon meal, or not afternoon, like a quick lunch for the kids. I think that this would be awesome. If I'm making pizza for the whole family, I'll probably just use the oven still because I can make them larger. And um, I can just use the oven and I can also like rotate racks and I have like a whole crazy process for that. <laughs> so overall, if I'm gonna feed the whole family for dinner, definitely gonna stick to the oven, but air fryer, great for lunch. De I think that because it heats up so quick and it cooks so quick, probably stick to that, to the air fryer for lunch for them. So kind of a success. Okay guys, so couple of thoughts that I had about today's pizza making video. One, if you wanted to make it with kids, because obviously you saw how much fun my kids had rolling up the dough, putting sauce and cheese on. It's just, it's really fun for them to do that. I think you could cook the crust like I did in, um, like by itself in the um, Ninja Foodie Grill and then pull it out, let it cool just a tiny bit so they don't get burned. And then, then they could go and put the sauce and cheese on and what toppings they want. So that's thought number one. And then you could transfer it back in. So totally doable. The other thought I had was, the issue was that the bottom didn't crisp up. And so I'm curious if we use the grill feature, like the grill function, if maybe we wouldn't have that problem. So I might, I might try that out. The other option as well would be to not use parchment paper and just put the dough right into the fryer basket. I just don't know how easy it would be to transfer it into the fryer basket. So that's another issue as well. So I don't know, a couple things to, to think about, but I do think maybe the grill feature might be an option. I don't know, I might try it. So stay tuned in the future, maybe someday I'll give that a try. But like always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow we will have a new video. I am participating in Vlogmas, so for the next, I don't know, 20 something more days, we're going to have a video every day unless like, life gets crazy, which hopefully it doesn't. But anyways, tune in to tomorrow. I will see you later, bye.